Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome. My name's Steve Woody, and in this beginner's guide, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about big time. So before we jump into the game itself, let's just take a step back and uh, talk about the website. So we're in the pre-season launch right now, and you can view all the information you need here at bigtime.gg. Now, Big Time is a merge between a Web 2 and a Web 3 game. So it's both a traditional game and a crypto game at the same time. It is many different things, but its essence is it is a grinding dungeon-based game where you will roam around a map, find dungeons, go into those dungeons and clear them and get rewarded for that. So let's just talk about some of the other things that Big Time offer aside from dungeons. Because as well as doing the dungeons, you can also do crafting. You can build up your personal space um, to allow you to craft. And you can trade on the marketplace. So it's a trading, crafting, dungeon clearing, um, kind of player versus environment uh, style game. All right, so let's just have a quick look as we scroll down here. So the preseason is currently live. It started this week. And I wanted to give it a couple of days before I did this video. So I had a, a good insight into what I was going to tell you. So the dungeons that you can go into, uh, the crafting that you can do, and playing with friends. That's kind of what this is all about. This is not a single player game. You can play it on your own, but it's not fun and it's not easy. You'll struggle to be efficient and you'll probably just struggle in general if you die in a dungeon and you're on your own there's no one to revive you you're lost you're out that dungeon at least if you have a friend with you and you die they can revive you so always better to be in a party of between two to six the more people in your party when you go into a dungeon the more of the enemy that will spawn and so the more opportunity you have for loot and levels. So just bear that in mind. Um, the, the enemies spawn at a rate equal to the amount of people in your party. So if you're on your own, you'll have a few enemies. If there's six of you, ah, you'll have hordes. And it's all good. So uh, the crafting is broken down into three different workshops. These workshops are the forge which is where you will forge your weapons. Uh, and these are all cosmetics, by the way. So you'll acquire weapons within the game, um, and those weapons you'll be able to level up, but you can also put a cosmetic skin on top of those weapons. So any weapon can be transformed into a cosmetic skin. And these cosmetic skins are what you can craft. You can't craft weapons themselves, only the cosmetic skins for those weapons. And Big Time is really a game that is focusing on uh, cosmetics. So here, for the first time, players can craft weapons and armor cosmetics from common all the way up to unique. So the, the, the kind of purpose of Big Time is a free-to-play game, so you'll be able to play it for free, um, but there is an economy element to it, and that is where people will look to make money by making the cosmetics that people will buy, all the way up to uniques, one of ones. And let me tell you, there's gonna be some money in this. And if you play games, you know what some people pay for cosmetics. So the value of these cos cosmetics is really gonna be uh, uh, dictated by how hard they are to craft and how much people are willing to put in to make them. So the forge is all about your weapons, all the way from a common weapon uh, and these are the rarities here. So you have, and this is the rarities across the weapons, the armor, and the timekeepers, which we'll talk about. But you have common, you have uncommon, uh, you have rare, you have epic, you have legendary, you have mythical, you have uh, exalted, uh, you have, uh, there's a couple more here as well, but this goes all the way up to transcendent and then unique. Um, but this is uh, exotic, exalted, exotic transcendent and unique um, so yeah you can also do that for the armory so you can start off with uh, anything from legs ha uh, gloves armor helmets feet uh, shields and you can level uh, up each item uh, that you can build so you, we'll talk about that and you'll actually see that in a minute I'll show you it 
And then we have the time wardens. So time wardens are the, the real essence right now that people are focusing on because time wardens are required to create hourglasses. Now you don't need hourglasses, but if you have an hourglass equipped to your character and you go into a dungeon, you have the opportunity to earn the cryptocurrency big time. And big time is also required to be able to craft in the armory and the forge. You will need them for that. Now, at the time of talking, as we, we talk about this, um, this video that's going out, again, it's just recently launched and we are still early in this cycle. Um, but if we're to have a look right now at the price of big time on the cryptocurrency market since it launched, which has been almost two days, you'll see it launched here at about 20 cents. Uh, it dipped down a bit. It actually pumped all the way up to 30 cents. And um, yeah, you'll be able to see this as we kind of, we zoom out to the beginning here. It actually went up to almost, almost about 35 cents at one point. This is just one market that's showing here. Um, but right now the token is currently sitting at approximately 20 cents, which means one big time is worth 20 cents. And yes, you can take that big time out of the game and you can sell it on a cryptocurrency market for real money. You can do that, I've done it myself. Um, and, and so I know this is possible. Um, to give you some context, I got an airdrop from big time and that airdrop uh, was uh, 13,500. So if I was to sell that right now, that would give me $2,861 uh, that I could cash out into real money. And in fact, I did that. Um, but I did it when it was worth 30 cents and I got two and a half ether, uh, which I then put back into the game. So we'll be able to see all of that in a moment. I'll, I'll share it with you. So the reason I'm sharing this with you is so that you understand time wardens and their purpose. There are a limited amount of hourglasses of each rarity. The hourglasses, you have to craft them. When you craft them, they take time to craft and they cost some uh, other resources as well. Once you've crafted them, you then have to fill them up, which takes time. This game is all about time, it's big time. And so it takes a long time to be able to craft these, to fill them up, to then be able to go out and earn that currency. So right now, this currency is kind of in price discovery. I don't know if it's gonna sit where it is, it's possible, it might go up, it might go down, but ultimately the token is designed to be stable. It's kind of what you want is a stability to a utility token like this. Is it going to be stable at 20 cents? Who knows? Is it going to be stable at 10 cents? Who knows? Most utility tokens in Web3 games sit at approximately one to five cents in value, roughly. So 20 cents is very high, but it is a new token. It's just launched. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of volatility here at the moment. But as we zoom out, this will start to flatline and we'll find probably that we'll have that slope down to wherever it's going to sit, maybe at like five to 10 cents, who knows? Um, that really depends on the people that are selling in the game and also the new people coming into the game because new people have to come into the game, right? And want to do this. Now, again, you don't need to do this. This, that, this isn't part of the game that you have to be involved in. There's a free to play element. You can just grind dungeons and level up, great. If you want to get involved in the cosmetics and you want to create the cosmetics for people to buy, then you'll have to be involved in this side of the economy of the game. So, time wardens, armories, and forges. Now, in order to be able to deploy these in the game, you need a space. And uh, I think we're gonna be talking about that in a minute. So I'm just gonna go through this site and we'll talk about that because you'll need a, a space, which is like land, to be able to connect these workshops to. So you can collect the big time token, and this is the main cryptocurrency that's gonna drive the economy. So here we go, new collectibles. You can see this, there are gonna be um, craftable armor sets and uh, non-craftable armor sets. And so you'll be able to, yeah, work out all of the stuff here and you can see everything here from common, as I say, all the way up to transcendent, uh, all the different types, so from shields, etc. All right, you can also rent your items. That's another thing you can do here. So you can rent out all of your workshops and your spaces to people. You can also rent your items, your cosmetic items to people. And you also have what are known as these prestige, uh, prestige portals. 
the prestige portals are where you're going to get um, special advantages, where you're going to get better rewards. But you have to pay a fee to go into them. It could be that you need an NFT equipped. You might have to pay some currency. Um, but you'll have to pay to enter these portals, which will give you better rewards. So, yeah, something to consider. Also, when crafting, you have the ability for bonus rolls. As you're uh, going around the world as a free player, you have the ability to gather these bonus rolls that you can then use. And you can use these to get better or sometimes worse um, statistics with your crafting. It could be that you get a better rarity. It could be that you get more experience. It could be that the crafting is half the time. It could be that it takes twice the amount of time. It's not always good. It could be good. It could be bad. So that's it at the moment. Uh, there's also mystery boxes and uh, things like that. So people who have access talking about the game. And that's the website. So let's, uh, let's have a look at the moment at some of my transaction history. So you can get an example of what the real economy of this game looks like. So as you can see right now, um, just today, we're in October the 14th. I've been selling hourglasses. Now these hourglasses have been selling for 15, 16, $20, as you can see all the way down. I also purchased some of time crystals. I put $100 of time crystals, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, and then I bought all of these. So it kind of levels itself out. You make a small profit, but then you end up spending some money as well. Um, and you can see here, they were selling earlier. They were selling for sort of 20, 22, 25, down to 15. And they vary at the moment. And you can see that here in the marketplace. So if I was to type in hourglass into the marketplace, um, you'll be able to see those. And here, these hourglasses at the moment, it says they're $18, but if I go in here, there we go, $18.80. And you can see right now, there's a thousand of them for sale. Now there's only 600,000 in total. Okay, but as more people craft them, um, the, the market will become flooded, people will pump the price down, um, and then you'll see a difference between some of these which are going to be, uh, have time remaining. So it's really the amount of time in these. When you craft them, they're empty. Uh, and at the start, people were just buying them. Now people are starting to realize that maybe you don't want to spend that much money on an empty hourglass. Maybe you want to buy one that's actually got some time in it. This one has no time remaining. Um, but you'll be able to see that as you scroll through here. Some of these, there we go. That one has um, <laughs> 89 seconds of time remaining. So you want to buy them that have got more time. Um, if we go to the, uh, maybe the higher price of the, here, I mean, these are just ridiculous prices, but th this one has 5,760 minutes remaining. And you can see that people are going to charge a little bit more for this. So 2,800 there, 2,800 there. So you're pretty much getting the idea of what people are, you know, if it's got 2,880 minutes remaining, People are valuing it at the moment at about $120. So you can work that out for yourself. Um, that's something that you'll be able to play about with and figure out as you go. But this just shows you the marketplace. And this is one part of the game. It's the marketplace. There's also, um, as well as the marketplace, and again, if I go back to the market and we look at this, um, there's also going to be the items as well. And some of these items, they're quite expensive. So if we look at the, uh, the workshops, for example, and we look at those workshops and we look at some of these transcendent, which are the top ones here. So the, the Time Warden at the moment, uh, valued at the moment, but a transcendent at about $20,000. $20,000. So as you can see, there's only 100 of these in existence. And currently there are two people selling them and they're selling them for about $20,000 each. Is it worth it or not? You have to make that decision yourself. But as you look down the different uh, filters that are available. So we look at the game, uh, we scroll down here. If you come away from Transcendent into Exotic, which is the next one down, you'll see here that the Time Warden selling for about 7,900 at the moment, and the Forge is selling for about 1,300 at the moment. Coming down to Exalted, and you'll see here the Time Wardens selling for $2,000 at the moment. And I actually pulled three of these out of a mystery box uh, just yesterday. Uh, so $6,000 if I was to sell them right now, and they are selling uh, 540 for a forge, uh, for a forge, and <laughs> which is incredible, actually, absolutely incredible, the pro starting price of this. I actually bought one of these yesterday. If you look at the transaction history, 
uh, and we actually looked for that. I bought I bought one of these. So this was a forge, an exalted exalted forge. I paid two hundred and thirty nine dollars. And if I was to sell that right now, the cheapest one on the market is five hundred dollars right now. Uh, most people are selling them for about seven hundred. So I'm pretty sure if I put that up for seven hundred dollars, I'd be able to make some profit. I could definitely sell it for four hundred dollars and make a profit right now straight away. But this is a game that you can play. This is actually a, a game within the game. This is the market. And if you're interested in buying and selling cosmetic items and the tools required to craft them, this is a valuable marketplace. There is a business to be made here. There are buyers and sellers and you'll be able to see here um, as you go through, you'll be able to see that people are buying and selling these. And so there you go. There's there's things to consider and things to see. So as you see, these are selling. Um, it's good to have them and I'll talk about that a bit, a bit more as we go through. So if we look at the premium currencies, the premium currencies in the game. So the um, the blush fire and the uh, the blush fire is required. This is an item that is required to be able to craft within the forge. And the terror core is an item that is required to uh, craft within the armory. And then we also have uh, time crystals, which you can buy. Anything else you can buy off of other players. Time crystal, however, you can only purchase. They're a premium currency. They're not crypto assets. All right. And so you can only um, buy them from big time themselves. This is no different to wanting to speed things up and paying in games like mobile apps where you'll make those microtransactions and you'll buy those in-game premium currencies. Same thing, but this is required um, to be able to do some of the things that you need to do to earn money in the game. So for the cryptocurrency side of things, you'll need these. And as you can see here, they work out at about, um, so it's $5 for 500, which means it works out as about, uh, if, if you worked it out as, you're going to get a hundred for a dollar, which means they work out about one cent each. And if you were to buy them in bulk, you can get a discount. So here you can get them pretty much half price uh, for what you get. Well, it should be twelve dollars. You get it for nine ninety nine. It should be twenty five. You get it for twenty, etc., etc. So you save yourself about thirty five dollars if you buy the bulk pack. And put it this way: if you were to want to be the most um, efficient as possible you would need five hourglasses attached to your character at the same time. To do that, it will cost you um, two of these packs minimum. So you're going to spend $200 minimum just to be able to be the most efficient minimum. Uh, and they work this into the game. This is their business model. And so it's good. It's interesting to see. Um, so you, you might want to, that might be a bit too much for you. Uh, to do that should be 700 they're saying you can get it for five to so get 200 dollars off i actually personally went for two of these packs um, that's what i did i just bought two of these packs but you will need these if you're going to do this so it depends on what level you want to play this game looking at my collection at the moment i've got my in-game assets so these are assets that are currently in the game uh, that you can see here uh, anything you want to sell you can simply just click on this you can move it to items to sell it puts it in a different folder so these are all items that I'm willing to sell. And then you've got your active listings. So right now I've got two items I'm willing to sell for $1,000 and $1,500. All right. And you can also rent items. So these are all of the things currently. Look, this one is currently being rented. So one of my small spaces right now is renting out for $17.5 a month. So someone's actually renting this off me right now. And they've got it for a month. There's 28 days left. Um, I have cancelled it. So at the end of it, I will take this back. But all of this could possibly be rented. These are all the items and things that are available right now for people to rent should they want to. And so, yeah, you get to see this and then you can see who's renting from you. And so there's a whole rental market where you don't have to. There's no fear of losing your items and you can do that as well. So rental market, buying and selling market, all that is there. So anyway, coming away from the token price now, coming away from the market, coming away from the crypto side of things, coming away from all of that. Let's go into the actual game itself. So we're going to close all of this down and we're going to go into the game itself. So first thing you want to do when you load in, you need to choose your location and you need to choose your um, 
your server. Different servers in different locations. And so we're going to go into Frankfurt. We're going to be looking for Charlie because that's a high server population in Frankfurt. And we're going to go ahead and click play. It is quite resource heavy, especially as you get into some of the big horde fights in dungeons. But this is it. So now we're in time's end. Now when you first come into the game, you're going to go into through a tutorial mode. The game could be a bit laggy. Um, you might have to uh, bear that in mind, but this is time's end. So after you've been through your tutorial, you'll end up here. And this is the shop, the shopping area. So this main central area here, you can run around this. And as you do, you'll see these kind of um, bots uh, around the side here. So if I walk up to this one, this is a terminal, a Vendroid, where I can buy and sell your eyes, items. Not with your hands. So where I can see them. items that are available here, I can buy them. This currency um, here, if I hover over the top right, this is my big time token, my time crystals. Welcome. What can I get? Um, these are my terracores and my blush fires. Now, also on top of that, I also have these gold tokens here. Now you can't see them on this screen, but on above them you can. I've got 129,000. This is just gold. Gold is just something that is freely available in the game. You get this by buying and selling in the game. Has no value outside of the game. Can't use it for anything outside the game. It's just the game currency. So that is the uh, the gold tokens. The time crystals is the premium currency. Okay, so you've got the in-game common currency, which is just gold tokens. It's just gold. You've, and that's what you buy and sell these items for. So I could sell this for 15 gold, for example. You've then got time crystals, which is a premium currency, meaning you have to pay real money for this. And then you've got your cryptocurrency, which is the big time token. So cryptocurrency, premium currency, and your free currency. That's how the game works. If you want to play the free to play game, use the free currency. If you want to get involved with the um, time crystals, you have to buy them. And the big time is the crypto side of it. Now we understand that. Let's have a look. So in the top left hand corner, you'll see I've got my health bar and I've got my energy bar. I've also got my name, got my picture, and then I've got two levels that you can see, level 20 and level 20. The top level 20 is my pocket watch, and the bottom level 20 is my character level. So let's just go into my character for a moment, and let's have a look. So my character, which is currently level 20, that character has to be a certain level so that I can apply Welcome. certain can pocket you? watches. What so for example, for? for this pocket watch, I, I need a rank and it tells me on the requirements at the bottom of that, on that pop-up, I need a rank of at least one. So my character must be level one so I can apply this pocket watch. Now for some of these, you might need a different uh, level of character. Um, but for this one, for example, this one needs a rank of at least 20. So if I was to, and you can see that, look, if I bring this over here and we hover over it, look with your eyes, and you look at the right hands. side, because it's comparing it to the left, what's equipped? I need a rank of at least 20. So I need to be a character level 20 to apply a tier three pocket look, watch. Touch. If you break it, uh, this one's rank 10. So you need um, rank one to have a tier two. You need rank 10 for any other tier two. If you break it, and you need rank 20 to have a tier 3. So that just gives you an idea. So you'll probably need to be rank 30 to get a tier 4, something. rank 40 to get a tier 5, probably rank 50 to get a tier 6. And that's really where you want to be, is getting these, these pocket watches. Now there are different types of pocket watches. There's the main ones here which we've got. So this one is a shadow blade, and you can see this. The shadow blade is kind of like a ninja. And this is a symbol for that. We also have what is known as a chronomancer. Chronomancer is, I guess, like a, um, a healer, I, I would say. Uh, we also have a time warrior, which is kind of like your tank. And we have a, oh sorry, no, the quantum fixer. Sorry, the quantum fixer is the healer. So you have a healer, you have a tank, you have an agility hero, and you kind of have your mage, if you like. Chronomancer is kind of like your mage. So this will be magic damage, this will be your tank, this will be your um, healer, and this will be your agility. Your DPS. With that being said, 
these timelines, you can change them at any time. I can change, I can rename them. Um, and if I do go to this, it will, you can see the different levels. So it will reset the levels. So I have to be careful because if I go and change to this now, I will be level zero. So now I've switched my pocket watch and I come back out. I am level one. So you can see that my level is 20 as a character, but my pocket watch is now level one. And I have to start at the very beginning. So now, as a result of this, there are certain things I'm not going to be able to do. I've got a skill tree. It's free set. My skill tree resets with every pocket watch. So you want to kind of decide. Now, every pocket watch has different traits, different pros and cons to it. If I go and change back to my level 20 on one that I was using. Because this is a higher level, I can now attach better items. For so for example, if I wanted to put this tier 2 common helmet on, I need strength of at least 16, I need dexterity of at least 57, agility of 7, and a pocket watch level of at least 15 to be able to apply this. So my pocket watch level is 20, which means I can apply this level 15 helmet. Welcome. And this gives me plus max Welcome health, max stretch. energy, if accuracy, break, evasion, and mitigation. So as you see, as you start to work through some of these items that you level up, and these character items, this has got nothing to do with the crypto side of it. These these items are the, the kind of just the play, free to play game where you can go and you can complete dungeons, you can acquire these items, you can level them up. So if you're not interested in the crypto side of Maybe things, if you're not you interested something. in earning, if you're not interested in spending real money, then you can come in here and you can just play this game and it is a fun game. It is good to play with friends. So this is going to be super popular. And then if you decide you want to buy a cosmetic, well, there's an entire economy for you. And it is driven by real people, not game developers. The game developers kickstarted the economy and stood back and said, if you want to partake in this economy, build it yourself. And that's the incredible thing. It's a peer-to-peer -peer network. Hello and welcome. So with that being said, let's, uh, let's look a bit deeper into this, shall we? So we can move around the map and you'll be able to figure a few Hello, things out as you go the main thing from here is that you've got your inventory your inventory's got a limited space as you start to progress you'll get backpacks and you'll be able to upgrade these to have more space space is going to be your biggest limitation in this Come game every time you go into a dungeon you're going to be filling up your backpack you're going to be coming back here and you're going to be selling it that's going to give you gold that gold is then going to be able to buy you more things more items from the shops also, there's materials. You can craft these materials to add them into your um, items to give you better things. And you've got your abilities. If I look at my timelines, as we said, these are all the different timelines available. You can choose which character you want to play. Um, once you've done that and you've decided what you're going to level up. And honestly, at the start, I'd probably just stick with the basic. There's no point restarting on a, a rare or an epic it doesn't matter if you get a legendary it doesn't matter it's still a tier two you really want to be working up towards those tier four five and six tier six being the top at the moment so you really want to be able to take one just level it up get yourself to a point where you're able to get maybe i would go possibly uh, to a tier two to a tier four and then to a tier six uh, if you were going to level things up but yes it does mean resetting and when you get to those harder dungeons it's hard to go back to the beginning again skill trees there's actually three different types of skills to consider um, let me just break this down for you every pocket watch has a skill tree depending on the watch you've got different watches have different skill trees and you can also get cogs that go into the watch cogs open up different skill branches so this can evolve um, and it'll be different for everyone but as a, a basis you'll have a level one you'll need to go and find the different level people so this is path of shadows so i would need to go and find the trainer the path of shadows trainer level three to unlock this next item so uh, this for example as you can see if i wanted ignition powder grenade this would require the path of shadows free and i don't have that this one also requires path of shadows free and backstab level seven what a beautiful there's a lot to be able to do this so you have to kind of figure this stuff out. Um, but once you get here, this one is um, Path of Ninjutsu. So you can level this one up. Uh, if you want, if I want to get like a, a Shuriken, for example, I need Path of Ninjutsu level 1. So 
I have to, I've already done that. So Path of Ninjutsu, uh, I've done that. And so now, uh, next time I get a point, I can put that point into here. Uh, actually, no, I can't. I haven't done that. Sorry, I need to get this. I haven't done this yet. So I need to go and find this person. I need to unlock this. So that I can get this. So I don't have a point. I don't have a point in this. I need to get a point in this first. But I need to go and find that trainer. Then I'll be able to get a point in this. And then I can upgrade it and up level it. And again, once you've got this, I can even level up. So put two points in backstab, for example. You can see it gives me different. So this is your character. Kind of, this is your pocket watch level. So your pocket watch. And you can change pocket watches. Each one being leveled differently. Your player itself has player stats. Every time you level up, you'll be able to do that. As you add items, your items, your pocket watch, your items, they all increase your player stats. You might get you might get additional dexterity, for example. I've got items that are giving me additional agility. This gives me evasion and movement speed. So you can see here I'm at level 79. I need certain Come player stats in. to equip Great certain items. items. So you kind of see how this Look ties together. Eyes, We've also got a passive tree. To a passive tree where we can go and find these trainers and, and we can level up our character. Now, this is also going to be part of this pocket watch, um, but this is going to allow us to level up different things that we can do, today. like in more inventory space, Welcome. What can I get for you? Uh, being knocked back down, uh, 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 down but not out. So, this is all to do with your character, not your pocket watch. So, you can level these up. So, yeah, lots of things to consider in a skill tree. Collection is all around the NFTs, as I mentioned before. These are the hourglasses. So I'll show you right now, because I've got 13,000 time crystals. If I want to unlock this, I need to spend 10,000 time crystals. So 10,000 time crystals, just to be able to unlock this. You know that one time crystal is approximately one cent, which means that um, 10 is going to be... So if, if it's one cent for one, that means it's going to be one dollar for a hundred which means it's going to be $10 for a thousand, which means this is $100 to unlock this. That has just cost me $100. Um, it starts off, it's less than this, so when you when you do the first one, it's less. It, 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 it starts off at like 100, I think it's 500, 1,000, 2,500, 10,000, something like that. So these are, again, you, you only pay for this if you're willing to then grind and earn money throughout the game. Cosmetics, these are NFTs that you can add, so you can go to the marketplace if you want to, to buy NFTs. If you've got an NFT, you can simply just equip it. So I can see here, this is my NFT, I can drag it to equip it, and this will now be my cosmetic. So whatever item I put underneath, the inventory item, whatever I'm wearing, regardless, it has its own look and feel. So if I went to my collection and I remove this, this is what I would look like. So you could just use a standard items, but if you want to put a cosmetic item over the top, then you can do that. And this is where big time are counting on people crafting and, and buying and selling these to make the money. Space, this is the space that you can earn. And this is all of your personal metaverse space. Uh, and you can see here I've got um, Time Wardens, I've got Forges, um, I've got these Exalted Time Wardens, I've got this space, this rare space, I've got this mythical space. Exalted space. Um, Hello and probably somewhere in a region about $40,000 has been spent on this account. Just so that you understand how much real money I've put into this. And you might think that's crazy. There's people that have spent a lot more. And there's people that are earning a lot more. Just yesterday in this game alone, I did a video. I managed to pull $10,000 out of this game. So that's real money. So there's, there's real money to be made at the moment. Now that does not mean, that does not mean if you play this game, you're going to make 10 grand doesn't mean Maybe that. Again, what I put into this game and the amount of time and effort and what I've had to do to research to get to this and the timing speed. being early has allowed me to do that. The chances are, as this video progresses with time, those earnings will start to diminish because that initial hype has died down. And are you looking for something we're in specific? price discovery at the moment, which always means things are overinflated. As things settle down, they'll what be worth less. You'll find out. Now, that doesn't mean you can't earn money. It just means you probably won't earn the levels of money that are being earned right now. Also, because it's crypto, it depends on the economy, bull markets, bear markets. Right now, we're in a, a very bad bear market. So the prices of everything are down. NFTs have seen a 95% drawdown from their all-time highs. Most projects are dead. 
Will this make it? Will it not? Who knows? But if we enter a bull run and you've got these assets and they become more valuable, then you might do very, very well as a result. Who knows? So, yeah, just something to consider and to think about. Quests. At the moment, there's only uh, three campaigns that you can go through. Uh, we've completed those, but you also get weekly and daily bounties. You might get NFTs for these. You might get some bonuses for these. But overall, these are pretty much just things to keep you in the game right now. And then you've got your shop. This is where you can buy those tokens that we talked about before. All right, so coming back into the game, let's go and have a look at our metaverse. So uh, I can press O to trigger it. It opens a portal. Anybody can come in at this point. They have 30 seconds to come in here with me. Everyone has their own metaverse. Even as a free player, you get your own metaverse. The problem is you can't earn anything from it. So a starting metaverse looks like, once it loads, it's a box. It's just a box. Now you can go and buy cosmetics or you can even craft cosmetics and put them in this room. This is your metaverse, it's your room. So this is your way out. You have a storage chest that you can store items in and you can see I've got some different pocket watches here, some different items and things. So you can store that in here. Or you can even come over here to craft. So crafting you? means you need to craft these items. Now this requires some time essence. Okay, so I'd need to bring some time essence in here. And this is not the time uh, crystals this is uh, within the game you've also got this tin and you've got this ruby so if I scroll down here you'll see I can actually make some tin so to make tin I need to find five tin ore you find that within the game you can go and harvest that mine it in the game so you find a node you harvest it you get a tin ore come back here turn your tin ore into tin and then you go up to the top here you need to also find a ruby so that you have to find uh, from dungeons but if you get a ruby, you craft your tin, and you find a time essence, you can make a fire a gem of sorts. And that will give you um, 0.8 to 1.2 fire uh, damage minimum, or 4 to 6 fire uh, damage on target damage maximum. And if you get this all the way up to like level 10, for example, you can see you're doing like 38 plus 38 damage. Um, but you can see what you need for this. So yeah, this needs platinum. So you have to, there's a lot of stuff you have to do here. Platinum is something you can make, as you can see here. So I have these ingredients. I've got six platinum, which if I craft this right now, uh, my inventory is full, so just bear with me a second. So what I would actually need to do is I'd need to drop some materials. So I don't really want to drop anything, but I'm just going to drop this battery for now. All right, I'm going to come over here. I actually just picked that back up. That was a mistake. I didn't mean to do that. So drop that battery for a second, come over here, Are you I'm going to craft, something specific? come all the way to the bottom here, okay I've got this now, I'm going to craft this item, I've now just crafted this, Have a nice day. now what I need to do, because <laughs> I've can only i only got 10 slots at the moment which is really annoying, um, hopefully we'll get some more in the future, but I'm going to drop this platinum ore on the floor, and I'm going to pick up my batteries. Now even though this is an epic, there's one of them, I can get some more later. Uh, if I press left alt, I get some more details. I can't store it anywhere at the moment in this game. This is early access. There is nowhere for me to store this. I can't store it in my chest. If I go to my chest, I, I can't store these items in here. I can't do anything with them. I only have 10 spaces for materials at the moment, which is very limited. So, yeah, kind of difficult with the materials right now. But if I do come back here and I uh, scroll to this number 10 item, well, look, I've now got my platinum. So I just need 10 rubies and 10 time essence. If I find those out in the world, I'll be able to make this and then I can add it to my item. So different things here. Pretty cool. As you can see here, you can go through here. I can do the same with gold. Uh, I'm not going to do this, though, because I'm going to keep the gold ore at the moment. Um, and I'm just going to keep hold of that. But one of the things that I want to work towards is the lifesteal gem. This gives you a 15% leech on health max. Um, for that, I'm going to need these trees, which you can buy at the shop. Uh, rubies, which you can buy at shops or find in dungeons. And then I need this platinum setting. So I'm looking forward to be able to do this. Once I've got this, uh, I can put my item, my, my weapon in here. I've got these slots, you can see. And as I upgrade my, my weapon by using it, you can see I've opened up all four, slot, four slots here. So level 5, 10, 15, and 20. When you get to these levels, 5, 10, so this is level 11. So at 15 and 20, you open up another slot, so I can have four slots. So I could effectively have 60% lifesteal if I had four of those level 10s in here. So each hit could give me 60% lifesteal. So again, a way to keep you alive. 
something to consider. So this is your personal meta space, uh, your personal metaverse, and you can come in here um, and that's fine. Now, if you want to buy space on the marketplace, if you want to buy space, and uh, we were talking about space before, so just having a quick look at space because uh, we were talking about it. The cheapest space right now, so let's just uh, bring this back up. I want to bring this screen back up just quickly. Go to the marketplace. Uh, we're going to go to the big time game. We're going to look at space. And we're going to uh, look at a common space. Can you not get common? I think rare is maybe the, the cheapest you can get. A small rare space. Maybe that is the cheapest you can get. Hmm. Price low to high. Yes. So the cheapest on the market at the moment is a rare space. And a rare small space, which is the cheapest, is currently selling for $92. $92, which is the cheapest right now that you can get it for. And yes, these have been selling. So, yeah, there you go. $92 to buy the, the, the cheapest space. Now, if you buy a rare space, you can only attach rare workshops to it. So let's go in here, shall we? And we can open up my map and see. If I just zoom in on my map, here we go. So this is my first, going into my first space. And this one is a mythic medium. So this is what it looks like. So this is my space. You can buy items, you can decorate this. Um, it's actually really cool. It's got an Egyptian theme to it. So the layout and the theme can change. But this is an Egyptian theme. And because it is a medium mythic, it has three exits there there and there and I can do anything with that so if we go to the right here if I go into here this is an exalted space an exalted space exalted spaces can then have three exits on them as a small building so this small space has three workshops so if I come into here this is the exalted time warden so Exalted Time Wardens right now, this space sells for about $2,000 if you were to buy this. I could, I could sell this right now for $2,000. I don't want to because I'm using it. But this is the Time Warden. So let's just click on him and let's see, shall we? And let me just, before I go in here, I want to just go out. Let's just go back out into my main corridor. And let's go to a different Time Warden. Now this Time Warden here is a common. A common is a basic one and you can only craft the common hourglasses so there's all these different levels but i can't select them i can only craft common in a common so if i go back and i have a look in the exalted one that i was talking about this is where you'll see the ability to craft all different types anything up to exalted so i can craft common uncommon rare epic legendary mythic up to exalted and bearing in mind there are two more levels there is also exotic and transcendent and i don't have access to those and i'm not paying twenty thousand dollars to get the transcendent time warden right now so that's just something i'm going to have to miss out on unfortunately but yes this is what you can do so how does this work well in order to earn big time in the game the only way you can earn the token the big, big time cryptocurrency asset is by playing the game you have to have an hourglass equipped now if i have a common hourglass i have a luck rating of 92. here's the thing even if you don't pay you can still find hourglasses if you're lucky they are rare drops to free players but they are cracked you could get a cracked hourglass. A cracked hourglass has a luck rating of about 15. So the, the chance of getting big time from it is very, very limited. Okay? But it's possible. So even as a free player, you can still have a very rare opportunity that you might earn some cryptocurrency asset as a result of that. But it's very rare. Here, as a common, I have a luck rate of 92. Now, in order to make this, here's what needs to happen. I need to have nothing going on. I need to come into here, 
I need to spend 150 time crystals, which is $1.50. Because remember, these are about one cent each. So that's $1.50 I need to spend of real money. Because this is the premium currency. So I have to spend $1.50 of the premium currency to craft this hourglass. It then takes 24 hours. And 24 hours later, I will have this. So right now, as long as I'm willing to craft this and wait 24 hours, I can sell this right now and I'm selling them they're selling for about $20 roughly so I can spend $1.50 I can wait 24 hours and I can make after marketplace fees I'm making somewhere in a region of about $20 profit so if you imagine I've got 10 of these well I've actually got 13 in total so if I'm able to make uh, $20 profit okay now consider I can do this every day and I've got 13 of these okay so $20 profit and I times that by 13 I'm making and this is where you can see the the potential in this game right now and how early this is and this isn't always going to be like this but I can make over $250 profit per day that's a wage right now now, obviously, there was an outlay to this. There was a lot of money that I had to spend out on this. So my break even, my return on my investment, um, you know, you're going to have to consider. So these Time Lords right now, you know, you have to spend 100. You have to spend 100 for the um, uh, for the space. And then you're probably going to spend, if I go to the marketplace, we can have a look. So let's uh, pop back to this marketplace. So. Oh, actually, no, sorry, it was less than that, wasn't it? It was $15 for a space, so. Oh, no, that's the armory. <laughs> sorry, that's the armory. I apologize, but big time. Let's have a look at the space. Okay, so we're going to go for the rare because that was the uh, lowest one that they had. We're going to look at the space. So you'll need to spend. And starting off on this as well. You would need to spend $90 for the space. Okay, so let's say you did that. You would then, on top of that, need to spend... So that was $90 there. I don't like this menu system, by the way, but then I'd need to buy the workshop. So then you would need to buy the Time Warden. You'd need a common Time Warden. So a common Time Warden at the moment, which is a Lunar. They're currently selling for $329. So you're going to spend about $450, roughly. $450 is what you're going to spend and you're going to make around about $20 a day at the moment. So with a $450 outlay, making somewhere in the region about $20 per day, it's going to take you about 22 days to break even. Now that assumes that the price of those um, hourglasses stays at around $20, but we know they're going down. In fact, Let's have a look at them right now, just purely from the time we've been talking here. Uh, we're we'll going to have another look. So I'm just going to type in hourglass. So here we go. A basic hourglass right now is selling for about $18. Now, it's it went down to $18 earlier. It went down to $16 earlier. And then it went up to $20. So it's only costing you $1.50 to make these. Obviously, there's cost involved in what you've had to spend out on your um, your land and your other things. And people are trying to sell those as well. So you have to bear that in mind. Markets go up and down. I can't tell you if this is a good or a bad deal right now. I, I can't tell you that. That's really a thing you'd have to decide for yourself. But yeah, let's get back to the game. So you would need free commons to be able to make an uncommon. You also need $300, 300 crystals. So you need to make three commons plus 300 crystals and you can make an uncommon and then you can sell that. So you're going to get more money for that. So right now, if you were to sell a common, that's one thing. Uh, and just to give you some context again, if we look at this. So a common is currently selling for around $18 and uh, an uncommon is currently selling. Phew, the, the, the cheapest one at the moment that is selling is selling for $117. $117 and they're selling they are selling so you have to bear in mind that you could possibly now you also need to spend more time on this right because it takes 36 hours 
It takes a day and a half to do this. So you're going to spend one day to do the basic three and then another day to do these. So you could, this is also gonna take up an extra time warden, right? So you could do three and that will make your one. But then this, if you did that, you'd be able to sell at the moment for around about $100. So you have to work out, is it worth it? So I could sell three of these, which is 20, 40, 60, roughly, plus one here, which would be 80. Okay, so I could make 80 there. I have to wait a little bit extra. I'm going to make about 100. So it does make sense to do this. It does make sense to do this. But again, the prices will start to come down. But when you consider there's only 46 of these on the market at the moment, no guarantee people are going to buy them. Let's look at the rare, shall we? Three uncommon makes a rare. Six dollars you've got to spend in time crystals. But if we go back to the marketplace, we go back to these and we look at the rare ones, there's only 18 on the market and they're selling for around $400 right now. There's only 100,000 max supply. That's it. No more will be crafted after that. So once you've crafted 100,000, that's it. No more. All right, so let's go back and have a look. Epics. Epics are coming onto the marketplace. There's two of them on the marketplace at the moment. Now, these could be completely overpriced, but this one has time remaining, and someone wants two grand for it. So these are starting to be crafted, and that's it. No one's got any more than that at the moment, but these are people that are trying to obviously sell for a lot of money. Maybe people will buy them. Maybe they won't. Who knows? Not my place to say, but you get the idea of how this works, right? Uh... Once you've crafted your hourglasses, once they're crafted, you then have to claim them. Once they're claimed, you have to charge them. So they won't be charged when you get them. You'll have to charge them. To charge them, there are three options. Unfortunately, I don't have one to show you at the moment. I wish I did. Um, but in order to, in fact, I'll tell you what we do. I'll tell you what we do for the purpose of this video. Uh, for the purpose of this video, making this video, I'm actually going to go and buy one off of the marketplace right now. So let's go and type in hourglass. And I don't care, I'm going to sell one later anyway, so it's not a problem. But we'll go and buy one off the market. So $18.40, right, let's go and buy that. So we're going to buy that now. We'll pay with our balance. Oh, I need to put in a code, so please bear with me while I do that. Uh, 2FA is involved uh, in this and also KYC. So if you do go into the earning side of things, you will need to KYC yourself. And if you're going to do lots of transactions and you're going to do over, I think it's over two or three thousand dollars at a time, you'll need a full KYC to be able to do that. So just bear that in mind. There you go, my order is being processed and I've just purchased an hourglass. Hopefully. Well, let's go back to my collection. We'll have a look. I don't know if that went through or not. It's possible it did. Yes, it is. There you go. I bought it. All right, cool. So let's go back to the game. So what I need to do now is I'll actually need to return to the lobby. I need to come out of the game. And then I need to go straight back into the game. Any changes with my wallet or my account is now going to be reflected within the game. So it's quite easy to jump out and jump back in. Then I go back into my personal place. Hopefully this video is helpful. I know it's quite long. I want to cover everything with you so you understand it and get a good understanding of it. Also, when I'm in my personal space, if you do have space and you're curious, when you um, have nothing going on, um, it will just be an icon on your map. So I'll just bring my map up so you can see it. When you have crafting, you'll see those little yellow dots on the icons. And when the crafting is complete, they will be green dots, uh, signifying that you can go and collect from them. So right, we're going to just pop back in here now. Uh, no, nope, wrong way. Sorry, I want to go here first. Let's just finish off the time side of things first. So we'll just pop into here. So now I go to recharge. Ah, oh, the irony. I made a mistake. I'm so sorry. From the marketplace, I need to click on this and I need to move it to game items. Move to game items. Now I need to come out of the game. That was my mistake. I should know better. It's why my name is Noob. Uh, now I can go back in, and now because I've moved it into game items, it will now show up. You also have to be careful, point to note, if you have something in your game items, like a space, and you move it to a sale item in the marketplace, 
it will disconnect it. And if anything is connected to it or crafting, you will lose that craft. So be very, very careful when you're moving stuff from your game account to your sale account. When you do that, if you're using it in the game, you will, you will lose anything attached to it. And I did that and it cost me a lot of money. And so just don't do that. All right, let's go back into here. And oh, no, I went the wrong way. We're going to come here in a minute. Sorry. Apologize. We'll do that in a minute. We need to go this side. Let's just go as quick as I can. Okay, so now I go to recharge and there it is. There is my hourglass. So I come across to here. I drag it in here. And now, now I need to fill it up with time. Because there's no time in my hourglass. I do love the concept of this game. It's brilliant. So now, if I was to um, spend 12 hours, okay, I need to use one echo, uh, one common glass, plus 50 time crystals, which, as we know, that's 50 cents. So I need to spend 50 cents. That will give me, after 12 hours and 50 cents, it will give me two hours in game that I can use this. And then that will count down to zero. And then I'll have to come and recharge it. If you have a cracked hourglass and it gets to zero, at the end of zero, you'll lose it. It will just disappear. But if you have a normal one, then it will go into your inventory and you can just come and recharge it. So you need to bear that in mind. That's something to consider. As you've got these, as you're working through these, you want to be able to fill these up. That is going to use up your time wardens. So if you've only got one time warden, you can see it's going to take a long time to be able to do this. Time is... Time is everything. Is the is the asset that you're trying to make still going to be worth the same? Is it going to be worth less? Is it going to be worth more? Who knows? That's only time will tell. Um, this is big time. It takes a long time. If I wanted to craft two hours of in-game using this, it would take 12 hours. 12 hours in-game would take 60 hours. That's two and a half days. It would also cost me two and a half dollars. If I wanted 48 hours of this token in game, it would cost me 8 days and it would cost me $8. $8, 8 days to give me 48 hours worth of use. Now obviously if I'm willing to do that, it's going to be the biggest benefit for me. Uh, you're going to get the most out of it by doing this. But right now people are just doing short runs because they're earning money by doing that. You can also dismantle, so you can choose cracked hourglasses, dismantle it, and you can get some big time in return. So if you find one, you can get big time that way. And you can level up. Every time you do a craft, you level up your workshop. Every time you level up your workshop, you need to use time crystals. So if you're willing to play the premium currency, you can level these up. And when you level up, uh, things get quicker. So I think every level, you get a half a percent increase in time. Makes it quicker to craft. So you can see you can get up to level 12 here. It's going to take a long time to get there. You get a thousand XP for every craft. So I need 3,000. So I need um, to get to the next level. I need 3,000. As you can see, it takes a lot. And that's per level. So that's the time warden. That's everything you need to know about time, about that side of the game. Now we're going to head across to the other side. And let's look at some of the other workshops. So we talked about the Time Warden. That was one workshop. This is the Armory. So we come into this room. This is the Armory. It's a pretty cool room. They all look the same. Um, but it tells you on there what level it is. You can see this is level 1, but it's exalted. That means exactly the same as before. If I click on this to use it, if I have a common, then I can only make common items. And these are the current common items you can make. There are also going to be seasons. So this is season, this is the pre-season. This is all the items you can make in the pre-season. These items, there's only 5,000 available. They'll never be available again after this. There's gonna be a huge marketplace. So if I want an uncommon, then I need to have an uncommon space, which is fine because space starts at rare, but then I need to have the previous item. So I need to have here, you can see, Three common of the three of these common items to make an uncommon. I also need a hundred big time tokens, and I need this bushfire lattice. Now, if I go to refine here, this is the bushfire. So I would need to be able to spend my big time tokens and the bushfire, which you can find in dungeons. 
you can see I've already got 88 from the dungeons. But if I spent my big time tokens with this, so I'd actually have to buy the crypto. I'd have to come and spend the crypto, so burn it. And then I would be able to make this. This would give me five of these. Or I think, yeah. So this would give me five of these. So I need 15 tokens. I need 15 lettuce. And it will give me five of these. Okay, then I can come to craft. And as you can see here, this is augmented. I need 50 of them in total. So now we can start to see how much I would need of this. So 50 in total means I would need to do this 10 times. Which means I need 150 big time tokens. I need 150 raw bosh fire. And that would allow me to craft an uncommon item. Then I go up to the rare item. Now I need 100 of these. You get the idea. You start to see how much this stuff's going to cost. Now I can't do unique. I don't have unique. I can't do transcendent. I can only do up to exalted. And there's only a hundred of these available. But if I want this item, if I want this item, then I can simply. And I wish you could see it better here. It's a bit annoying that you can't see it. But if I was to go onto the marketplace and look at this, so this is the astral. Um, So if I was to come onto here and have a look, here's the marketplace. There we go. You can see this now. So this is the epic one, uh, the legendary one. So you can see what these are. Now, if I was to go um, Astral Edge, oh, now I think if I click big time. Don't know if this will show up or not, but no, it's not going to show up. There's none for sale in the marketplace. That's why I can't see it, but that's only because they're not on the marketplace at the moment. There was one earlier for sale, but you can see these anyway, but it would be really nice if, and maybe they'll do this later. This image will be in the game because um, you want to see that here, right? You want to see it rotate. You want to see what it looks like with all of its auras and everything. Um, so that's something we'll get later it'll come but some of these are really cool if you look at them on the marketplace they look amazing so that's it and then you can obviously level up as well and you can craft if you craft at the moment so here's another thing uh, as we're talking about this game and everything that's going on if i go back to the website if i go back to the website because the game has just launched there is a leaderboard this leaderboard right now is running for three months. This is a live leaderboard right now. It's running for three months. So it was last updated um, yesterday. So hopefully it will get updated today. But we can see here, there are different ways to rank up. So you can rank up your character from level 5, 10, 15, and 20, and this will get you some points. Also, you can craft. If you craft any armory, the forge, and a time warden, you'll get points. Also, if you uh, go through prestige portals, you'll get points. And if you refer people, if you refer other people, you'll also get points. Now, at the moment, number one, the rank number one, is going to get a million big time points. Uh, so that's what they're going to get as a reward. They're going to get a million big time as a, as a way of saying thank you at the end of the month. Now... Who knows what the price of big time will be in a month? It's currently 21 cents, which means that is currently valued right now today at $214,000 or $212,000 now because the price changed, but over $200,000 right now for first place. And this person is flying ahead absolutely flying ahead almost double of second place so they're in a world of their own right now this is the biggest whale in the game adrian the biggest whale in the game right now looking to make 200 grand off of all of their efforts in this game and what they're doing now that depends on the price of the token in a month's time this person may then decide to cash out and sell this who knows so we also have to if this person was to sell a million tokens in a month's time, what would that do to the price of the token in a month? Do you understand? So you have to consider all of these things and how they can affect the economy if you're going to be involved in that side of it. But the leaderboard 
a lot of prizes there going to be giving out definitely worth um considering if you're going to get involved and, and and looking at that side of things so if we go and look at about the game um there is a story mode um it's really cool at the moment it's quite early but you, you get to meet ben franklin and talk about him and you get to help save the world so humanity is on the brink of extinction the walls of space time are collapsing different eras of history are colliding together and forces of darkness are coming through the tears in time there is still hope at the end of the universe stands the ancient and mysterious alien city where evermore academy has gathered its greatest minds and heroes from throughout history together the warriors unite will wage the final battle to save all of history from collapsing into the void and here we go you have the time warrior um, which is an aggressive frontline fighter that wields melee weapons to deliver close carnage. The Chronomancer, which is a powerful ranged damage class that uses magic. The Shadow Blade, uh, which is an agile, stealthy melee fighter. The Quantum Fixer, which is a masterful support class, healing everyone. Um, this is new. This, this isn't even here yet, but this is a Tech Blade that will be coming. Um, support or Age or uh, uh, Age Allies, okay. so. Tech Blade and then Battle Mancer, which is a uh, Master of Melee. Okay, so two more that are going to come, but at the moment only four in the preseason. All right, and it tells you what you can do with these, so it shows you their abilities and things like that. Then it talks about the pocket watches, and we talked about those, so you can see the different pocket watches. There, obviously, there'll be six. I assume there's only four at the moment uh, that you can see, and but yeah, you can see that. So. Any time, so you can be anywhere from history to whatever to the future. So aliens or dinosaurs, aliens and dinosaurs together is quite funny. Uh, there we go. You can also create your own metaverse, which we've talked about. That's your own space. It's all procedurally generated uh, maps. And so yeah, that's it. And so that's the forge. And then coming out of here and going across here, this is the armory. So my armory is only a rare armory, which means I can't do the same thing if I went to Exalted. It's not there. Um, I can only go up to rare. Um, but these are the rare items that I can make. And again, you have to be able to refine. That costs big time, etc, etc. So I think you understand. We've covered everything we need to cover there. Let's get out of here and go and play the game. Um, again, I wanted to make sure we covered everything first. I need to figure out how the hell I get out of my space. So we're going to come along here and go out here, out of this portal. And again, this is a game that is better played with friends. It doesn't really play very well as a solo player game. You can, just not that enjoyable. But here I am. I'm in time's end. So now we're going to run around and we're going to look for a portal. So I can open up the map. There's a big map here. I can dash around. Now I'm only level 20, so there's still a long way to go before I'm maxed out and I have all my abilities. If I run around here, there we go, there is a portal. Portals just appear and disappear, so I can see a portal here. Oh, there's also these bugs, I have to kill these little bugs. I don't really want to die. This is a level 7 to 12 portal. So level 7 to 12. Right, let me just kill these random bugs. Okay, so this portal is up for another two minutes. Up to six players can enter this. Level seven to 12 is ideal. It's an insectoid nest. I'm gonna go in here to show it to you. So then when you go into the portal, this is now procedurally generated. And at the same time, depending on what portal you get, some are prestige, some are story driven, some are just randomly generated, um, it depends. Right now, this is just a randomly generated portal. Other people can come in here with me. But I'm currently on my own. I have to come here to start, and it tells me in yellow what I need to do. So I need to gather exotic flora. So then that's it. I just run through the... Run through. This is the dungeon. This is effectively the dungeon. So uh, things will spawn. I can fight them. There we go. Not much is going to spawn for a solo player. It's quite easy. Also, there'll be boxes and crates and loot things. Don't fall in the slime, you'll die. Uh, beautiful map, beautiful game if you like this kind of thing. And 
Uh, we're going to run over here now. If I hit that, it blows up. So you kind of don't want to do that because you die. And when you die, the problem with that is I'm out. That's it. I died. So I'm now out. I've failed the dungeon. This is why it's difficult on your own. If I, if someone was with me and I died there, they could revive me. All right, I've got 30 seconds to go back in. So I just wanted to do that quickly to show you what happens when you die. So try not to die. And also, if you die in a prestige, a prestige portal on your own, that's it. You've lost your buying. So bear that in mind. All right, there's lots of different areas uh, that you can go to as well. There's about seven or eight different areas on the map at the moment. It's constantly expanding. But now we're back in here. So I've, I've got to heal up. So right now, this is a completely different map now. This is find the bomb. So I've got 10 minutes to go and find a bomb. All right, it's 10 more I need to go over that way, which is like 500 meters this way. So last time it was gathering fauna. This time it's a bomb. Every time you leave and come back in, it changes. And uh, yeah, and so does the layout of the map as well. Now, hopefully there won't be... Yep, they're still there. We're not going to do that again this time. We've learned our lesson. There's some bad guys there. Now, look, there's a crate here. There's a, a legendary crate. But I can't open it because there's enemies nearby. So I need to kill these enemies. Okay. Let's see all these enemies here. Let me just move over here. I'll kill this turret. Now, because this is only a level 9, it's quite easy for me to kill all this stuff. But I still end up getting in trouble, so... The other thing as well, as you can see at the moment, there's a combo. Now, if I swing my, my weapon, it turns gold. If I swing it again when it's gold, it gets the combo. So here we go, look. So if I press it once, I do a base attack. You can see there's two ways to do this. Either one, when the weapon goes gold, press it again. And that then skips. You can also see the icons in the middle of the screen. They go green. When they go green, hit them. So we'll do a four-part four part combo. So here we go, we'll do... One, two, three, four. You do maximum damage on combos. And you always want to try and hit them. Um, the best way to learn is you will get used to its muscle memory. But it's not just random button smashing. Like clicking the button as hard as you can doesn't work. All right, let's open this mythic chest and see what we get. Absolutely nothing because it's uh, common. But look, here's items. I've got gold. I've got 50 gold coins, energy potion, and i got a level 3... Here we go, some level 3 items. So I can pick them up, and then now here I can go and sell them in the shop. That's it. This is a dungeon. Now I've only got a little bit of time, so I need to go here. And defuse this bomb. The stuff that you can find in here, look. This is all stuff you can buy in the shop. It's always better to get it in the dungeon if you can. You get a lot of stuff in here. You can get NFTs in here. It's rare to get them outside the prestige, but you might. It is possible. There's the bomb, so I need to hold this to defuse it. But if he attacks me, there you go, I need to kill these guys first. Let's do that now, we'll kill all these guys. Got a daily bounty, which is nice. Uh, there's bounty boards where you can get daily bounties, and uh, just got that, which is great. All right, let's just kill these guys. Do our combo. As you can see, you do a lot more damage when you do the combos. Perfect. Right, so now they've done this defuse this bomb. Now I've got guys around here, and if he hits me, ah, he did hit me. And then I've got to do that. Get rid of this guy as well. Okay, so now I'll try again. There is still another one over there. I might need to go and get rid of him. Depends if he hits me or not. Yep, see, because they hit me. I'm trying to stop shoot. Obviously, they don't want to make this too easy, right? Most of it is hoarding, and uh, you get these hordes come through and you have to kill them. 
Alright, let's try again. See if I can defuse it. Much better when you've got other people with you. It's much easier to do. Maybe this time. Yes, there you go. So I did that. I've now got this epic chest. Some items in there. I can pick them up. Now I need to go to the boss area. So follow that sign. Go to the boss area. Gonna be more things I'll have to fight in a sec. Okay, so here I am, I'm in the boss area. I need to get ready to fight. Alright, there's gonna be a horde boss, so I need to kill the horde boss. So here we go, here's one of them. Oh, I might actually die here, I don't actually have that much health, but oh, we'll see what happens. Do some damage to this. use a heal if I wanted to, but to be honest, I don't really want to waste it. I don't actually do too much damage. Uh, but I am pretty close to death, so... I can heal if I wanted to. Hard not to die here, but yeah, very close to it. Let's uh, put a tree down. So there's a healing tree I can lay down in here, and that's going to regenerate my health as long as there's nothing attacking me. Uh, potions you can get from the shop, or you can find them in dungeons, and then you'll be. Able, and you also, if you've got a healer with you, they can heal you. So ideally, you want a tank. Um, you want a healer at least uh, to go into this. It's, it's definitely better to do it with two people, but there we go. I've done that. Mission complete. We'll grab all of the loot that we got here. As you can see, everything was dropped here. There's pocket watch cogs and bags and all sorts of good stuff. So we'll pick all of that up. So we've got everything that's here. And then we leave. So we have to wait like 30 seconds. He's not actually a harmful guy, but took him out anyway. So that's it. There's nothing else to defeat here. There might be some more boxes to open. In about 10 seconds, we're going to get a summary of the dungeon, and then we can leave. Alright, there we go. So, seven minutes it took us. We got 1,600 experience, um, which is not a lot, because normally as I run through here, I'm getting 30 or 40,000 experience when you go through with a team. Um, I can see what I looted, so all the items that I looted out of here, epics, um, I've got some time crystals, which is good. So you do get some time crystals. You don't have to buy them. You can actually get them as drops as well, but they're they're, they're not. You don't get many, um, but you do get some, which is good. So and yeah, so got time crystals, got that, and so now I can leave. So now I just need to find a portal, which is over here, and I can leave, and that's it. Mission complete. That's the game. That's everything you need to know about it. That's everything you can do with it. Um, obviously, you can progress and and get better and do more stuff. And there's another portal here, so I could go through this one. This one's level 10 to 15, so it's a bigger one, a harder one. Um, bigger and harder enemies. Um, again, if you're playing solo, it can be difficult, but everything that you do in this game is, is about grinding and leveling up so my advice if you're playing this game as a new player is to find some people to play with if you don't have anyone to play with that's okay all you need to do is go to the town um, so if I go to the town area now I'm going to use a portal because I don't want to walk well that's very strange I did use a huh how strange I just used the portal and I didn't... Ah, there it is. And now I'm at the town. So this brings me back to the town where I can sell everything. The other thing here is when I'm here, I can just press P. Hello and, welcome. and it opens up the party. So now I can tell people that I'm looking for a group. I can also talk in global chat. Anyone looking for low level dungeons. So there you go. Uh, these are the people. You can see they're around my level. Could invite them to a party. 
if they wanted to. They could currently join a party, and once we're in a party, we can talk to each other. Uh, you could, if you wanted to, bring them into your Discord or whatever for voice chat. Otherwise, you just uh, talk to them in here, in the party chat. And then you can go and work and play with other people. So most people will gather here looking for parties. Keep them where I can see them. And then you can come here and sell stuff. So look, I can sell all of this. If I sell all of this stuff here, I'm just going to get rid of all of it. I don't want it. So I can sell everything here. And I've just made loads of coin as a result. So, as you can see, that's the game. Everything you need to know about it. How to earn money, how to enjoy it, how to play for free. That's big time. Keep an eye on it. It's uh, definitely an interesting one. It's great fun when you've got six people fighting thousands of uh, enemies at the same time. Just make sure your graphics card and PC can handle it. Um, you can also go around and shoot these pumpkins and blow these up as well. You sometimes get drops out of stuff like this. So just bear this in mind. There you go. Look, I just got myself a uh, speed potion. So you never know what you're going to find. Also, you'll get shards as you go around the map. Um, some of the shards that you'll get, you'll be able to bring here to this droid, this yellow one. Fragments. You can put the fragments in here and you might get an NFT as a result. You might get something else. Have a nice day. For now, that's it. That's everything you need to know. As you can see, there's a, a, a group here. Loads of people here now as well. So yeah, all good what fun. So need? that's everything you need to know. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, if you need a code, let me know. I will give some codes away. So what if you need a code, to get, can't play this game at the moment without either owning space or having a code. Oh, look, someone's just uh, invited me into a party. So if I join that party now, as you can see, there's now a, a group of us in a party together. Now, I'm just going to leave that party for the moment. Um, um, I could go back and join into that party, but that's it. That's everything you need to know about this game at the moment, everything you need to do. So, yeah, thanks for watching and enjoy.